accomplish his will. A major theme that we're going to be resting on as we walk through the story of Joseph is found in Genesis 50, verse 20. And this is Joseph's own reflection on the culmination of the entire story, which I will not go into, but if you know it, you know when this happens, or you know the context of this. But Joseph says this, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. And that word intended in the original Hebrew doesn't necessarily mean that it's a preordained plan. It means like in the negative sense, it might mean connived. It might mean manipulated. It might mean um, orchestrated. It might mean reordered. But it, what, it, what it holds in it is intention. It's to say, what I have, I will make this. So in, in the context of this, we see in this family history, we see enormous amount of brokenness and pain. We see an enormous amount of faithlessness and doubt and fear. We see horrible choices. We see humanity. We see ourselves. I see myself in the story of all these generations. You see, I see a kid at four years old who gave his life to Jesus with excitement. And then I see a kid who watched his family fall apart. And I watched a kid who felt so insecure that he thought he had to earn God's favor. I saw a kid in this, and I see this in this family dynamic and this history of these people of a person who is so afraid to disappoint God that he thinks it's his job to make what God said he would do happen. I see really bad sexual choices, which of course is part of my story too. I see fear and I see doubt. And in all of that, I see a sovereign God who takes the broken pieces of our own decision-making, who takes the fallible nature, our faithlessness, even though we have faith, even though we do believe God is good, even though we do believe he'll do what he says, we don't always believe that he will be good to actually do it. I see that duplicitous nature and I see God working in it to accomplish his perfect plan. This story is our story. This story is God's story. More than any of the details, more of any, uh, any of the historical or cultural context, it's the story of how God interacts with imperfect humanity to bring about his perfect plan.